What's up, guys? It has been a while since I've done a stock portfolio update. So I wanted to give you guys a November update and show you the all time of my portfolio. I'm actually only down one hundred forty five dollars and seventy two cents, which is pretty amazing because about a month ago I was down as much as thirty five hundred dollars. So it's really good to see my portfolio come back up. As you can see, we're at $46,665.28. We're getting very close again to that 50 k and I'm hoping I can break that for the first time ever. Now, I want to go into the one week. As you can see, in the last week, I've lost $408.52, and I received $57.23 in dividends, so not too bad. And something awesome that I want to point out is M1 Finance finally created a year-to-date button. So I can finally see how much money I've lost so far this year. And let's check that out. So you can see I have a market loss of $5,972.98. And I've gained or earned $1,892.22 in dividends. So my total return for the year I'm down 8.56%, which considering the S&P 500 is down about 20%, say I'm doing pretty good with my stocks. And if we go down and check out my stocks based on the total return, you can see that the majority of my portfolio is very defensive. A lot of my stocks are food stocks such as General Mills, Kellogg's, you can put Pepsi in there, and then just other essential businesses like Johnson & Johnson, my utilities and Southern Company, Duke, and American Water Works down here is another good utility. Then I have stocks such as Costco, and then Dental Care and Colgate, Cleaning Supplies and Clorox, Procter & Gamble, another great um, essential stock right there, and then just other... This The majority of my portfolio is very safe, very defensive. That's the way I like it. I'd say my portfolio is about 92, 95% safe with just a little bit of kick. And I have most of that kick in my real estate. But as you can see, SCHD is currently at 11.4% out of 20% total. And I'm planning on increasing SCHD to 40% which is really going to make my portfolio defensive. However, the great thing about SCHD, if I click on it, is that it's a very safe ETF, dividend ETF, and it's got a solid dividend yield of 3.34%. That's a great yield. But of course, the real shining part of SCHD is their 13, 12 to 13% dividend growth rate, which is amazing. And if I go back to my portfolio, I did want to point out that this earned dividends does not match my actual dividends that I have received. So if we go to my dividend growth chart, or my monthly dividends, you can see in November I've earned $61.03 so far. We're only on the seventh day. And you can see I've actually received $1,987.13 in dividends. So what I believe happened here on the earned dividends is I most likely earned quite a lot of money in dividends in December, and then I received those dividends in January. So that's why those two numbers are different, but I can assure you guys that I'm counting my dividends correctly. And another thing I wanted to show, the net cash flow. So $8,897.41 has gone into my portfolio. Now, not all of that has been my money. The What I showed you, though, 1987 is part of that cash flow, or net, yeah, net cash flow. So I'm going to go to my funding history. And as you can see, for the year of 2022, I've put $6,985 
into my portfolio, which is a lot less than the year before. And the main reason is because I've been saving for a house recently. So this number would be close to 20000 if I wasn't saving for a house. And next up, I want to go to research, show you guys my watch list. Now, I finally put a stock on my watch list, Waste Management, just another one of those essential companies. You can't live without Waste Management picking up your trash and stuff. One thing I really like is, like I said, they're essential. I was going to say one thing I really like is their dividend yield, but it's 1.62%. Not too crazy. However, their five-year dividend growth rate is just over 8%. So that is great. And it's just a relatively safe stock. And now I actually want to go over to my activity feed, show you guys what's happened in the last week. And it's been a while since I've done this. But let's just start from the 31st. I received my second dividend from BST. The BlackRock Science and Technology Trust. I received $25 and a penny. From Good, I received $21.75. LTC, I got $7.68. Then I deposited my normal $125. And I ended up buying some SCHD. And then I received a dividend on the 1st. From General Mills of $7.64 and Verizon $15.24 and then I ended up buying $1.49 of Microsoft and the rest SCHD just to show you how ridiculous this is I bought 0 0.006 shares of Microsoft so that does not seem worth it at all However, next up, on the 4th, I received my largest dividend ever from Jeppy, an amazing $38.15. Then I deposited $125 today, Monday, every Monday, $125, and I had two buys, $65.65 into .65 Microsoft, which is a lot better than before, because this one bought 0.29 shares. And then the other one was SCHD, which I don't know if I've shown my SCHD dividend. can go down and show you guys that. Received $35.55 from SCHD, which was awesome considering my previous SCHD dividend. I want to say it was like 6 bucks. So if I go to SCHD, do dividends only. Yeah, my first dividend from them ever, $6.54. Then I just kept investing into SCHD. Now I'm at $35.55. Hopefully by the end of the year, I can get around $50. And then by March of next year, they should be doing their next dividend increase. So if it's a pretty good dividend increase, I'll be earning a lot more money in dividends from them. And so that's it with my um, activity feed. Now, and I'm going to say I'm going to wrap up the video here. So thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to check the links in the, the description. M1 Finance is actually giving 2.5% for their checking accounts. You can get free stocks from Weeble. And then I do have my Amazon links below. I know you guys are going to go Christmas shopping and you're going to shop at Amazon anyways. Why not use my links? So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.